is going on guys, this is the Canadian Spaceman here. Today we are doing a review on the Celestron Astromaster 130 EQ, EQ telescope. Uh, this is my first and only uh, telescope. I'm planning on getting some more. This is, I'm going to start by saying this is a great beginner telescope. Um, yeah, it's a great telescope. I actually picked it for up for $280. Uh, Canadian dollars off of Amazon, but I think it will be. I'm uh, sorry, off of Costco. It will be 180 uh, Canadian dollars off of, off of uh, Costco in America, I believe. So I actually picked this up for a steal of a deal, because normally it is, I believe, about 450 dollars on the other websites, which that's an insane price drop. Uh, comes with these two eyepieces. This is a 10 millimeter eyepiece, which I believe is about, I want to say somewhere about 60 times magnification. And this is a 20 millimeter eyepiece. I'm not sure how many times magnification that is on this telescope. So, two costs with it. Actually, also came with a solar like, kit. So I'm just going to open it up. So if, I highly recommend buying this telescope to Costco because to Costco it comes with yeah it comes with this kit it comes with a couple of wipes and it's way cheaper and it comes with two more eye pieces this is a 15 millimeter and this is a nine millimeter eye piece this is my strongest one not only that it comes with a moon filter and a couple of planet filters. So, really good deal. Um, now, what have I looked at? I had this telescope for a few months, or for about a month, and I looked at Saturn, Jupiter, and the Moon. The reason why I haven't looked at any other planets is because they haven't gone over the horizon. But with my 9mm eyepiece, I can see Saturn and Jupiter with perfect clarity. I can see the rings of Saturn, the gas bands of Jupiter. And if, say, if I had a, a 4mm eyepiece and a 3 times bottle lens, I could see it that much bigger. And this telescope can actually handle the Celestron's strongest eyepiece, the 2.3mm. And yeah, I really can't wait till I get that eyepiece. I'll probably put that on top of, the, of a 3 times bottle lens. You could see anything in us, any planet in our solar system. I'm, I'm thinking you'll be able to see Neptune and Uranus with that. Except it might be tough to spot. Now, what this telescope comes with, uh, through Costco at least, it comes with an updated, updated finder scope of what it used to be. Before it came with like a little stubby finder scope that just went straight up that wasn't that strong. Now it comes with this one, which is uh, a bit better. So it's in a perfect finder scope. Right here is where you put in your eyepiece. And, uh, he, this is a really good mount. You could also uh, buy a motorized mount for I think an extra twenty dollars. So if there's these uh, slow motion knobs, oh that wrong one, slow motion knobs that turn it. And if you want, you can uh, loosen this knob down here, and you can uh, use the slow motion mo knob to to uh, twist. S. This one doesn't go as easily. You have to have it pretty loose. Except. There we go, see? Except that it would be easier if this, these legs were uh, nailed into the ground. Am I losing it? No, okay. <laughs> um, this tripod, it's not that heavy. Oh, it's heavy, except it's very sturdy. What, the most of the weight of this telescope, I think these are two 15 pound counterweights. And then, of course, this whole centerpiece is pretty heavy too. Um, comes with this tray to set some stuff on, most telescopes do. It's a 5 inch uh, refractor at the back, see that mirror? It's 5 inches, so this is about the biggest you can get for getting an affordable price, and usually if it goes bigger than that, it goes into computerized telescopes, which get a lot more expensive. Um, 
So, any complaints about this telescope? I want to find, I want, trying to think. I haven't had many complaints, if any. Except, here's one thing. This find the scope. Sometimes it turns on, sometimes it doesn't. Like, this has to be as far as, as far as to the right as it can go. Just so for it's, uh, just so it's, uh, lined up. It does, sometimes it doesn't turn on when it's as far to the right as it can go. So I have to center it. Then I turn it on and I put it back to the right. So since it's right pressed up against the wall, it doesn't have a, any problem. I don't have to realign it or anything. Uh, so that's good. Um, this eyepiece that it comes with is pretty cheap. Except this 10mm one's a whole lot better. Um, but this one pretty cheap. It's sort of tough to look directly through it. Because the wheels aren't perfectly aligned, at least in mine. So if two costs go, these two other ones that it comes with are a whole lot better. And like, this 15mm one's actually my favorite because the eyepiece is just so big. Let's see if I can get this cap off. This eyepiece you look through is so big and I love it. You can see such a good view. And this one, I look at the start and I look on land with it. 20mm only in, on man and the the 9 and 10 millimeter also look on the man. These two wipes are pretty good. The laser are extendable. This is actually in the shortest configuration. You can actually put it so it's about uh, this tall. Almost taller than me and I'm really tall. I'm like 6'7". So that's almost a bit too tall for most people. Uh, yeah, really great telescope. Yeah, uh, this is the latitude, um, let's see if I can get a better view of it. This knob right here, you have to twist it so you're on the latitude of where you live in the world. I don't, I don't know exactly why it has to be like that, but it just does. They say these have to be polar aligned, and yes, it does help to polar align it to track the stars. But I came to realize if it isn't polar aligned, you can still easily find the stars if you want to know how to polar align. Check out another video. Except just sometimes the uh, the tracking is back was like left is to go right and right is to go left, and it can get a bit confusing that way if you don't polar align it. But if you just want to look at a planet or look at a star for a bit, like an even half an hour, that's easily good. And so if you like this video, smash that thumbs up and subscribe button. Really helps me out. I'm new to YouTube. If you, I do lots of space videos. I'm all, I also do Let's Plays and Gaming videos. So if you like those, uh, check out my channel. And I'll see you folks in the next episode. Peace out.